Hello, 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 OMG. Welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. It's Jody Dunn. We are taking a look right now at my very, very small uh, half bath that is basically our guest bathroom. It's actually the only bathroom we have on our main living floor, so we also use it quite often. And I'm gonna do just a fun little quick makeover to spruce this room up a bit. I mean, I like it, I think it's very cute, but I keep on looking around here thinking, what can I do to make this room just look a little bit nicer? And I'm gonna take you back and I'm gonna show you what this bathroom used to look like. This actually was the first room in our house that we made over. And it was before I was even filming videos. So I never posted a video about this, but this was the first room that I had hired the painter. She was actually my friend that started her own painting business to come in and remove all this wallpaper and paint in here. My whole house had this yellow paint. We had a very old builder grade vanity in here i had already taken the mirror down at this point and the light source was one single light so just by removing the wallpaper from in that room and painting it totally gave it a fresh look and then we had decided to go ahead and replace the vanity so we did all of that last year back in september i think and this vanity is just a touch longer than the old one was so you can see i can't even open that second door when the door to the bathroom is open but it's totally fine it doesn't hinder us at all from doing anything like i said this is just our guest bathroom i'm moving the plunger down here because i don't even know why i didn't do this before but it doesn't need to be out i like to hide them inside the vanities if i can if you are new and you just found me, I am so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new down in the comment section. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you so very much. So this room, like I said, was the very first room we ever did any renovations to at all uh basically in our 27 years of marriage <laughs> we've only been in this house it'll be 12 years this year um but even in our first house that we lived in it for 17 years we never renovated anything so updating this bathroom really sparked everything all of the changes i've made in my house because it was so nice just to have a fresh new bathroom and like I said, I've been wanting to do a little something to spruce this area up a little bit. And I was so incredibly inspired by Carrie Lynn. She did a bathroom um, makeover recently where she put some molding up on the wall. And it really, really changed the look of the bathroom. It just made it look so pretty and so custom. And so that's what I'm doing today. I'm just kind of taping things off to see how I want the molding to be and to get an idea of what I want to do in here. So this is going to be the biggest DIY I have ever done. And it's really not a hard job at all, but I've never done anything like this. Neither has my husband. So this will be a great learning process for both of us. But I thought that it was a small enough DIY job that we could kind of take it on. And we definitely made some mistakes and we definitely learned a lot. <laughs> but in the end, I think it turned out pretty good. So this is kind of the rough draft here of what I think I want for molding on this wall. So I ordered myself a pair of miter scissors so that I could do some miter cuts. And I went to Home Depot and I bought some trim or molding, whatever you wanna call it. Of course, the one I found was a very decorative, pretty looking trim. 
which I may have changed. I may change that in the future if I ever decide to do that. But look at that. I just made my first ever lighter cut. Those scissors and make it so easy. This is a very thin strips of wood. So I didn't need like an actual saw. I didn't really want to invest in a lot of expensive tools. I ordered these miter scissors from Amazon. I think they were like $20. And I watched a couple of videos on YouTube of how to make miter cuts. It's really not that challenging, but I did make some mistakes. Says that's level. Does that look level to you? When your tape's up there, it's not going to look level. Yeah, you're right. You got to rip that tape off. Let's my initial plan was to do this completely on my own, but I'm a little nervous to use power tools, and we're going to use a brad nail gun. And so <laughs> I did ask the hubs for a little bit of help with this. And I'm so grateful he's always willing to help me when I come up with these crazy ideas. All right. <laughs> you want me to do it? <laughs> Can you get just on the end? At least, I mean, I would like to try to use it, but it's too hard to get over there. And I feel like it's gonna, the nail's going to need to go probably on the flatter part, don't you think? Oh, jeez. All right, just do it. Should I make sure it's still... Like I said, we learned a lot through this process. That gun is very powerful. These pieces of trim that I bought are very thin wood. And we would put the dang brad nail in and it would move the wood. We eventually figured it out. But it was very challenging to try to work around the toilet as well. And for this first strip on the bottom, we ended up just hammering the nails in because it didn't matter what we did. We took this thing out so many times and it the, the nail gun just kept moving. It. it was kind of funny, but kind of not funny. And I thought about using wall adhesive, which is a renter friendly option you can do. But I was a little nervous that if I ever did want to change this, it would, in my mind, I was thinking, if it did, if a wall adhesive did any damage to the wall, it would be easier for me to fill holes versus uh, having to repair the wall. So that's why we decided to nail them in, but you can do it either way. And we did eventually find our groove with the nail gun, uh, but it was definitely a process. <laughs> yeah, that looks level, doesn't it? Gosh, that one was almost perfect. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Let me hold it tighter over here, I think. Got it? Okay.
Do you want to check it? Do you want me to hold that? All right. And part of the reason we were having so much trouble with the nail gun as well is because this, this trim I bought is not flat. <laughs> it's decorative because, of course, it was the one I liked the best. And I was like, oh, this is so pretty. Let me go with this. So the nails... They just didn't always go in right. There were so many, there were so many strips that we had to remove and nail back in because of not only the wood itself moving when we would nail it in. What we finally figured out is I just had to hold it like so, so tight because the wood was so thin. Um, but also the nail. I'll show you up close what the trim looks like a little bit later in the video. A flatter, just a plain flat trim would have been much better for our first DIY like this. <laughs> but again, when I saw this one at Home Depot, I was like, oh, this is so pretty. I want this one. I didn't know anything about nailing them in or that it was going to create any type of issue or anything like that. I just looked at what was pretty and what I wanted. So it took us two days because there was a lot of pulling out and redoing, but the trim is up and this is what it looks like. And I'm so, so pleased with it. I did all of the cuts and there are some corners like this corner where there are little gaps. And I knew that was definitely a possibility with it being my first time ever doing. Some of them were like just about perfect. Um, so I'm, I am gonna have to fill these in with some wood filler, which is not a big deal. And then we did put this up in here. I ordered this for my bathroom and we never ended up using it for my bathroom. So I put it up here because we didn't have a towel holder. I had a picture up here that I had um, used Oh, what are they called? You know, the sticky things. I'm going to think of it in a minute. And it ripped the paint off, but I don't think it was the fault of the command strips. That's what they're called. Because this is where I had taped the green painter's tape and it ripped the, the paint off in that spot too. So there must be maybe a little bit of issue with part of my walls. I'm not sure. Um, but that was a little shocking. And that painter's tape was not up for a long period of time. The picture has been up for a couple of months. But I've removed pictures from with command strips before and never had that issue. So I just got a little tube of wood filler. I actually have like a container of wood filler already. But I didn't want to try to spackle this one in like with a... a a spackle brush? Is that? No. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I bought a little tube because I thought it would be easier to fit into those tight corners and it definitely was. And then I'm going through to make this look just even more custom and better and I am um, caulking all of the seams. And I did have to get some caulk as well. I have some caulk at home, but the caulk that I have that I use for my shower, it's not paintable. And I'm glad I looked at that because I'm going to be painting uh, this molding. And so I had to buy some paintable caulk. And I just went ahead and got one that is in the tube versus having to put it in a caulk gun. And I've only done caulk one other time, which was in my bathroom. I did that video a couple of weeks ago. And I feel pretty darn comfortable doing it. It's really not hard. And I just have a wet cloth with me. And uh, there was a couple of spots that I almost wasn't going to caulk. Because just from the naked eye, it looked as if the trim was very flush with the wall itself. But I just went ahead and decided to caulk every single seam. 
the only part I did not caulk was the very tops of these two because I couldn't see it uh, even when I was on the stepladder because I'm so short. <laughs> Nobody else is going to be able to see it either. The hubs did ask if I wanted help, uh, but I declined because I don't trust him with caulk. <laughs> now here was an area where I caulked. I thought it looked flush to the wall and you can see where I caulked half of it and there is a big gap and now I caulked the whole seam here and it is it just looks so much better you won't be able to see any gap when I paint in there same thing on the inside of this one you can see where I caulked and where I did not caulk it really does make a huge difference and now I'm just going to paint this the same color that my walls are painted, which is Cloud Cover by Benjamin Moore. And I had, I don't know, three-fourths of a gallon left over from all the painting we've done in the house, so I didn't have to buy any paint. And this project ended up costing me around $90. That includes buying my miter scissors, the wood putty I bought, the caulk I bought. I already had the paint. I bought the trim from Home Depot. That was about $40 of my cost. Um, and then I ended up buying a new soap dispenser that you're going to see in a moment. So pretty budget friendly to just spruce up this bathroom. And the only thing I'll still have to do is I need to go get some spackling. I thought we had some, but I couldn't find any to repair where the wall got damaged from the command strips, and the painter's tape in those couple of spots. This is a close-up of what the trim looks like. So you can see it's very detailed and intricate, intricate, and it did give us a lot of trouble, but we finally figured it out. All right, just a couple of finishing touches that I'm going to put on the bathroom. Thank you so, so much for spending this time with me. I certainly do appreciate you. I would love to hear any projects that you are working on in your house. I always get super excited for you guys. I don't care if it's big or small. Some of you have been sharing with me that you're doing a ton of remodeling or new floors or that you decluttered one drawer in your kitchen. It all is so exciting whenever we are moving forward and doing things that just make our home feel more peaceful to us. So I'm going to fill up my new soap dispenser with soap and you can actually see the soap through this one. So I'm hoping it will help with the little teeny issue that we sometimes have uh, where the children, instead of going under the cabinet to get a new soap, will just open up the top of the soap dispenser when it's almost gone and add water to it. And there's nothing worse than when you're trying to wash your hands and you pump the soap and a bunch of water comes out. Oh my gosh, who else has kids that does that? And again, I was totally inspired to make this change in my bathroom from watching Carrie Lynn's video. If you're not following her, definitely go follow her. Uh, she just does amazing DIY videos and uh, she makes me believe I can do things that I didn't think I could do. So I appreciate her so much. I'm just going to add my little flower arrangement back up there and some bathroom spray. And then I'm going to put the towel on the towel holder. We finally have a towel holder in this bathroom. And then the last thing I'm doing is just folding up some extra hand towels to go into the bathroom. Oh my gosh, I am so pleased with how this turned out. Thank you again so, so much for spending this time with me today. And I'm just going to place these right on that shelf for easy access. And I did move the Kleenex holder because the hand towel was kind of blocking it a little. All right, here we are. Just about a year ago, that was what the bathroom looked like. And this is where we started this week before I decided to spruce things up a little bit. Let's take a look at the afters. And here it is now. Not a ton of changes, 
but just enough to where I love this bathroom now. I loved it before, but I just felt like it was kind of plain. So I love the towel rack shelf system over there. I think it looks beautiful. And of course, I love the navy blue accents in this room and the molding. Oh my gosh, like it just gave this room, in my opinion, so much life. I feel like it just looks so much more custom and just so pretty in here now. And not only do I love how the bathroom looks now, but it also gave me a little bit of DIY experience and the confidence to keep me moving forward and making changes that I wanna make in my home. One of the best things I feel like we did in this bathroom was switching out the light fixture uh, because it only had one light bulb before and it just brightened the room up a ton having a light fixture with two light bulbs in it. I just love the way everything turned out. I'm super duper happy with this little mini makeover. Oh, thank you again so, so much for spending today with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so very much, and I'm going to see you again next week. Bye!